division. This bout is brought to you by Wolfpack Martial Arts Gear right here in Tampa Bay, Florida. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, we have a mixed martial artist with an amateur record of three wins and zero losses. He is representing Highlander MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, give up for Joe Broder. And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist has an amateur record of five wins and only one loss. He's representing Gracie Baja. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mike Smiley Rivera. And welcome back to Tampa, everybody. Jay Adams alongside Mike Miller. This is a fight in the welterweight division. 145 pounds, Joe. Froner in the black and gray Venom trunks, and Michael Smiley Rivera in the red and black Bad Boy trunks. It looks like there might be, speaking of Bad Boy, there might be bad blood in this fight. These guys were really staring each other down pretty intensely. You know what's gonna happen when you really boil this sport down to what it is? It's a fist fight. You know, it's, 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 the better man is gonna come to the top, and collectively, I mean, we have an eight and one record between the two. Lots yes. of wins between them. Yes. Three and oh, five and one. Three and oh for Joe Froner, and five and one for Michael Smiley Rivera. Oh, nice knee there from Froner. See, this is what the crowd comes to see, guys. They aren't afraid to come in, engage, throw the big punches, really connect. Step into the pocket and exchange. Now I'm going to remind you this is a ground and pound fight. Uh, each fight has three fights plus. So there's going to be ground and pound, there's going to be strikes to the head on the ground. Now Joe Froner has position here. He's going to look to get this, uh, get this fight down to the ground, get the top position. Or he should be wise to. Mike Rivera really needs to get dynamic here. Uh, sitting here with the arm there blocking these punches is not winning in the eyes of the judges. And with three minute rounds, you know, you really gotta do as much as you can with every second that you're allowed. So, so far, Froner pressing Rivera up against the cage, trying to let that left hand go. And Rivera doing a good job of tying up that right arm, but he's got to circle out of there. He's got to get out of there. This is not a good position for Rivera. And that was a legitimate low blow. I saw that one hit. But you know, I really feel like in the past, I've been in fights and I've gotten a low blow. And I totally just brushed it off because I knew my opponent felt he hit me low. And then he also felt me not get phased by it. Ooh. And that will ruin your opponent's mental mindset. Right. That, not, that nothing will, will hurt me. Not even a low blow. Right. I'm going to keep pushing through this. Talk about disheartening. And you take every advantage you can in this short amount of time. Nice outside leg kick there from Froner. Again, working the left thigh now of Rivera. Lots of hooks in here. Yeah. And good shot defense from both parties. These guys are e very equally matched up on paper. It's, it's hard to give the advantage to either one. Froner, 22 years old. Rivera at 26. Like you said, very comparable record. Froner at 3-0 and and Rivera at 5-1 and with 10 seconds to go in the opener. Yeah, and Froner was able to secure that takedown, which is huge in the judges' eyes when it comes to scoring a round right after a round ends. Exactly. It's the last thing they see, and it's yeah. really important. You're looking for the edge. You're looking for something to help you make up your mind if you're a judge, and that's what can help you do just that. Here's action from earlier on in the opener. Standing and trading. 
Right. Good morning. Good composure. Good, good stand up shown by both fighters. Oh, nice left uppercut there from Frohner and then the knee. Set up your shot on the angle. He's got a straight start. But Toe. You gotta give it to Mike Smiley for staying in there, staying composed, taking the shots, moving out, and adapting. He did really well on that. And ready for action in round two. This is a featherweight matchup between that gentleman right there, Joe Froner, and Michael Smiley Rivera. Rivera in the black and red bad boy trunks. They've got lots of wins in this cage right now. And Mike Froner's able to capitalize on uh, a real heavy right hook. He's able to drop his level. And he's gotta watch out for the sweep here. Because Mike Rivera is going to push out this cage just like he does. He's still got room to get some leverage off that cage, but he really needs to get those hips out and get back to guard. That was a good attempt, but, but Ferner did a great job of recomposing and really just kind of bounced up and bounced back down on him. Ferner, a very good sense of balance to, to ride out that buck. And now. Looking to get that choke. He's got the right arm trying to get it under the chin of Rivera. It looks like he, he has it. Nope, nope, he let it go. This is really dynamic, though, for both fighters. You know, to set the arm, then to replace it on the defense, and then to replace on the offense. Right, exactly. See, good wrist fighting there from Smiley Rivera. Fighting it off. Plenty of time though for Froner to try to take advantage. And he has under the chin right there. Sometimes if you wait long enough, your opponent makes a mistake. He's got the short choke on that rear naked. It's only a matter of time, I, I really believe. Oh, well, he's doing it. He's doing a great job hand fighting. Wow. And he saves himself. Rivera fighting off yet another choke attempt. Here, plenty of time for Froner to work. A minute and 16 to go here in the second round. Plenty of time to work this choke. He's got both hooks sunk in. He's not panicking. He's taking his time. Rivera's under the chin again. He really just needs to clasp his wrist and suck that back into his chin, into his body. Michael Smiley Rivera trying to fight off this third choke attempt. Joe Froner, Froner looking for that chin, seconds, trying to get That's under the chin. It's a chess match, as you had said earlier on. Yep, it gets complicated in there sometimes. The overs, the unders, the inhales. He should be able to get the choke from this side. Uh, you want, you're choking, and there's the arm triangle and the reversal. He's got to do something with this last 15 seconds. Try to steal the round. Yep. Both guys are ground and pound in the face. He really needs to land some heavy shots up there, but stay safe. Watch out for the uh, submission attempts. In his Definitely not enough, in my opinion. I got. Broner up 2018 going into the third round. I agree. So that classic setup, we've seen it a couple times here tonight. Where, you know, in a three rounder, it doesn't take long to dig yourself a hole. What we haven't seen is guys that have been down two rounds to nothing and have been able to capitalize and come back and win it on the deficit. We haven't seen that yet tonight. But I think. These guys are solid enough that um, Smiley could catch them in something. I think so. We're, we're, we're late enough into these fights to where these guys have enough experience to be able to pull something out. Right. Yeah, it can happen. Yeah, like you said, we're far enough down the card where these guys have the skill sets to do it. And there's so many ways to lose. Ronan 
to shoot the double. Nice sprawl there from Smiley. Smiley knows he's got to get active. You can see it in his face. Smiley did an excellent job. First line of defense is always your hands on the takedown. Did a great job. Never let him hit touch the legs. Looks like Smiley looks, has some fun on his feet. Look like, hey, it's third round. Let's, uh, let's bang it out. Broner had clipped Smiley. I could see from the back his head snap around and he smiled to say it didn't hurt. You know, Broner shot an outside double leg and it's, it's really tough when you don't set those up and you can't get that inside jump on the double leg. You really gotta set up your double legs with punches or kicks to be able to complete those. Yeah, Smiley saw that thing easy. He saw that thing easily, easy sprawl and Beautiful work there from ooh, Smiley to avoid that takedown attempt. But well, it's anyone's fight still. I think Smiley's winning on this exchange, and as I say that, Froner secures the takedown. How about that? <laughs> Maybe he heard you. Is that not the talk of the night right now? As I say something, the, oppo <laughs> the opponent capitalizes on, on whatever I say. <laughs> and that's sport of MMA. There's, there's just so many ways to win a round or win a fight. You're just tuning in. You are watching World Class Fight League. I'm Jay Adams alongside Mike Miller. Glad you joined us. Mike's been doing a stand-up job of commentating here tonight. Really knows the sport. You're making it my job easy tonight. I appreciate that. Thanks for having me, Jay. Absolutely. And 48 seconds to go here in this featherweight matchup. Still anybody's fight, but Froner is ahead on our card. And it's a, it's a coming upon Rivera now to take the action now. With Froner. Uh, Rivera right now he's full defense mode. Right? He's trying to get flattened out. Trying to get chokes. Frona has the right arm in. He needs to get that, that bottom arm, that right arm under the chin. Secure, and, and he looks like he might have it right there. He needs to switch arms now. The bottom arm is the one that needs to, to, to do the choking. 10 seconds to go in the fight. Can Rivera pull a rabbit out of a hat? Come on. He's getting, and it is over. Still a very tough fight to call. Very tough fight to call. Judges have seen things that we have not seen before in the past. Yep. Your judges tonight, on the night, Alex Nicholson, Randy Harris, and Brian Kramer. And a big shout out to Alex Nicholson, uh, who's a local fighter in Florida. Lots of amateur fights, lots of pro fights, and his next fight will be in the UFC. Congratulations to Alex the Spartan Nicholson, huh? Yes, sir. He's uh, he's got Misha Serkinov, boy. That's a tall task. Yes, it is. He's, he's an excellent grappler. Uh, he's been knocking people out. Uh, but Alex, you know, with those gloves, Alex, it's hard. Uh, he has a great transfer of energy. And when he touches you, that's it. It's over. Uh, so if he puts the hands on Misha, you know, good chance it could be over just like that. Well, it couldn't happen to a nicer guy if it does happen. Yeah, he's actually a former opponent of mine and current training partner. Wow. He and I fought as amateurs. How'd you do? A couple years ago. Uh, I did well uh, until he dropped Please. me. <laughs> and then caught me in a choke. So, Your winner, it's a good fight though. Of split decision. Oh, split decision. In the new interim 145 pound WCFL champion, Joe Frodo! I think that's the correct decision. I did too, but like I said though, split decision. Oh, you know, who, you always wonder who's the judge, that, you know, like it's, so that's why you cannot let it go to the judges. Yep. Who scored what points where. Yep. And that's the thing about that makes, that makes martial arts so unique compared to other sports is there's no real yes. points awarded yes. per move right. as opposed no. to other sports. Not a lot of, it's very subjective. Absolutely. Oh, look at this. <laughs> and that will be an excellent fight. I look forward to watching that. All right, let's get
Vic digs at having the range on that one. Yes, absolutely. Big height advantage for him. Oh, we've seen Fro how good Froner is. Yep, yeah, it was an excellent fight. Good technique right, show. Standing here with Joe Froner from Highlander MMA. 4 0, oh, congrats. You're still undefeated. You just squared off against uh, Vic. What are your thoughts about the upcoming fight? I don't know a whole lot about him. I'm sure he's tough. Train hard for any other fight. It's good. All right, congrats. Great victory. Congrats to your coach as well. What's next for you moving forward? Uh, all right, guys, you're going to see him coming back here in just a couple of months. Mark it on your calendar, May 21st, WCFL 15. Look forward to having you again soon. Do you have any sponsors you want to shout out to? I just want to give a shout out to Press Box, best sports bar in South Tampa. To all my supporters, and great sports system. Thank you. All right, congrats. We'll see you soon.